So during this whole thing with the, the Kavanaugh hearing, as they were, you know, leveling these char charge after charge, trying to bolster these charges, the woman who wor works with Ronan Farrow at the New Yorker basically said they were printing these things without really checking them because they wanted to bolster the charges of Christine Blasey Ford. But actually, I think that backfired. But Trump said this about young men at this point. Well, I say that it's a very scary time for young men in America when you can be uh, guilty of something that you may not be guilty of. This is a very, very, this is a very difficult time. What's happening here has much more to do than even the appointment of a Supreme Court justice. It really does. You could be somebody that was perfect your entire life, and somebody could accuse you of something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, as everybody says, but somebody could accuse you of something, and you're automatically guilty. But in this realm, you are truly guilty until proven innocent. That's one of the very, very bad things that's taking place right now. So this woman, uh, I, and I'm sorry, I could not find her name, but she put out this satirical song about this, about how, oh yes, men have it so tough and it's such a scary time for men. Here's the song. I can't walk to my car late at night while on the phone. I can't open up my windows when I'm home alone. I can't go to the bar chaperone i can't wear a mini skirt if it's the only one i own i can't use public transportation after 7 p.m i can't be brutally honest when you slide into my dms i can't go to the club just to dance with my friends and i can't ever leave my drink unattended but it sure is scary time for boys yeah gentlemen band together make some noise it's really tough when your reputation's on the line and any woman you Assaulted could turn up any time. Yeah, it sure is scary time for guys. Can't speak to any woman or look her in the eyes. It's so confusing. Is it rape or is it just being nice? So inconvenient that you even have to think twice. Now, a lot of people on the right attack this song saying, oh, you know, you live in a free country, you can do any one of these things. But I don't think that's quite fair. She's talking about the fact that women have to be more careful than men in a lot of situations, that just the ordinary life of a woman is a life lived on guard to some degree. And, uh, you know, I'm, I have total sympathy with that. What the problem with it is, the problem with it is not that. It's that she is blaming and the left is blaming men. How would it be if knowing that I walk through a black neighborhood, a bad black neighborhood, I know I'm more likely to get mugged and I get mugged in that neighborhood and then I say, well, this shows you something about black people. No, it shows you something about that neighborhood and about the culture of that neighborhood and about the culture of poverty and whatever is going on in that neighborhood. And, and maybe it shows you something about black culture. You could even say that. But does it show you something about black people? No, that's the kind of generality that the left, that identity politics is peddling to everybody. So she's talking about men. But if she's not talking about the majority of men who would run to her defense, she's talking about the bad guys, basically. The, the reason she can't live in an apartment on the ground floor is because of bad guys. Not gonna because of me. It's not because of you. It's because of somebody who might come in. And that is what they're selling. That is the whole thing they're selling. They're selling bigotry. They're selling racism. They're selling sexism while slinging those slurs at us. Everybody's got problems. And girls have problems that are for girls and boys have problems that are for boys. I think boys suffer from crime a lot more than girls do, actually. It, you know, because the person most likely to get murdered, I think, is a young man in, who is in, within the vicinity of a gang. So there's all kinds of problems. The world is tough. The world is tough. But blaming identity groups, blaming identity groups is precisely not the way forward. And while the left continually accuses the right of doing it, it's all happening on the left.